Denver, baby. Back from Denver. And they call it, some people call it Menver. Menver, you know, like they got more men over there. But I saw a good, uh, I, I definitely saw a decent gaggle of mountain kitten. You know, kind of just uh, scheming about. I saw a lot of beautiful, uh, seemed like a lot of beautiful women over there. I mean, a lot of them were at a distance, could have been, um, you know, uh, transvestites or wigged men. And there are a lot of wigged men out there. A lot of wonderful people visited the shows. A lot of hill people. A lot of mountainers, you know. You can, um, you, you know, you see a lot of people come down. They got different furs on them, different. In Denver, you don't know. So sometimes you'll see, you'll, you'll be petting something. And you'll think it's a Great Dane. And then it'll kind of lift up and it's got a Starbucks. And it's some fella, maybe some fella named Randy or something. And he, he just had on a fur. You know, you see a lot of uh, crouching Randys or crouching tigers hitting Randys. You know, you think something, it's like, oh, there's a sheep and it's, oh, that's Vanessa. You know, she was just bending down, picking up something. She dropped her phone. Because people wear exotic furs, a lot of sheep, a lot of um, seal. You'll see somebody wearing seal fur, seal skin. So you definitely have that wildness out there. A lot of neat people came out. Fat Trish came out. Shout out Fat Trish. Shout out. Um, I met this guy who said that I bummed a cigarette off of him in 2001. So that was pretty cool. Uh, my boy Eric came out. Little Doyle. Uh, gay Henry. This dude who was. He just kept increasing the gay amount as the night went on. You got those buddies you know. You know, at 10 o'clock, they, uh, they're, you know, they're Brad Pitt at 10 p.m. And by 2 a.m., they fucking ball bag Lance a lot. You know, they just, you're like, whoa, whoa, we really shifting here. Uh, Ronnie, big Ronnie came out with that butt, with those buck teeth, respect. And, um, I think that was about everybody. A lot of people with mountain asthma, a lot of MAs. The mountain asthmatics. And the the air, when you get into Colorado, the air has a little bit of... The air just feels thicker. Like it's got shoulders on it. Like you just, that air it hit the sides of your lungs. Said, what you doing, boy? What you doing? You better be doing something, boy. <gasps> It's refreshing. There's something refreshing there. And that's a gift. A lot of places do not have that. Um, but they have it there. And, uh, and what a beautiful group of people to come on out and enjoy life with. But that's Denver. Where the air's got that. That air's like it's wearing uh, uh, shoulder pads. <laughs> Hit you. <laughs> You know, that air's got something in it. It's got something going on. Every breath you take, you can feel that it, that, 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 that inhale, that, that, it, that it's got a mother and a father out there. You know, every, you know, when you inhale the air out there in Colorado, you could feel the wind in the distance. Looking for its baby that you just took off the planet. It's Colorado, man. It's Colorado. And that's a native word, I'm sure. What does it mean? Let me look it up right now, actually. And shout out to all, like, three different dudes came out that had uh, Trey Anastasio tattoos on their back, too. And uh, Colorado is of Spanish origin, meaning color red. The name was applied to the Colorado River because of the red sandstone soil of the region. And there you go. So never too late to get some facts. Back in Los Angeles. Back from the mountains. Back from the... I mean, it's just really just a... 
it's almost like say you opened up a refrigerator and all that's inside of it is a bunch of nature and there's a little mountain over there and a mountain all a mountain is is a mountain is just a bunch of land got together and just said now what bitch you feel me you know what I'm saying a mountain is just like a gang of land it's basically MS-13 of dirt that's all a mountain is bro you know, a prairie looks over at a mountain or, you know, like a valley looks at a mountain. It's like, damn, these dudes are bullies. That's all it is, man. But shout out everybody, bro. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. And if you want to see another clip, then you can look at this clip or this clip. Either one of these. So did you pick one or are you still just watching me do this? Because this is alarming. <laughs>